so there's a game called Einhander from my childhood that I only was able to finally finish the game a couple days ago. So I first was exposed to the game in I believe 1998 because Pizza Hut, they were doing a deal where you would get a demo desk with like 15 different game demos on it if you got a big pizza. So of course we did that a couple times and so we had a PlayStation, a couple PlayStation demo discs and one of those had the first level of Einhander on it or Einhanda if you really want to pronounce it right. But I think it was one of those games that I pro that we probably should have gotten because it's really good. But for the longest time, I only had the demo, and so I didn't really play it that much. Let's say a decade later, around 2007 or 2008, I finally downloaded the ROM, the, the disc image, so I could play it on my computer, so you can emulate the console on your computer, because you can do that. And I, I was actually getting past that and enjoying it. But a couple of days ago, I finally decided to sit down and just put like 10 hours into the game and get through it and I was able to. I finally got through the game. I mean, if you do everything right, it'll only take you like, like, it's a short game if you can get through it fast. Like you could get through the entire game in 45 minutes. It's just for me, I keep dying and so it takes hours to get through it. But I'm getting faster. But yeah, it's just, it's like, it feels like the end of an era. Finally defeating something, or finally finally being able to finish something that I spent so many hours trying to finish and trying to play all the way through it as a kid. Makes me so happy. Totally unrelated, but still related to technical things. I went to the thrift shop and I found some interesting cables this is a very weird cable. It's an RCA cable, but it's an extender because most cables have, uh, I guess you'd say male on both sides. This has female and male, so it's not like it's to go from a VCR to a TV. It's meant to extend the video from the VCR to the TV or whatever. I haven't seen one of those before, so it's kind of interesting. I picked up this weird cable. It's specifically made to carry chrominance signal, which is the color signal of video. Most video, like when you have the RCA cables, which you have like the left and right audio and the video, that I believe is composite, if that's the right term, where it has the, the color and the black and white image encoded into one. That's also one reason why a lot of older televisions, like VCR and what, VCRs and whatnot, well, because I think VCRs actually output composite video. Well, the colors aren't always the same clarity as the image, because basically what happens with a television is it draws the black and white and then it colorizes that. Well, it doesn't as it scans, but the black and white, just the, the detail element of the, of the image, it has a higher resolution, but the color has a much lower resolution. That's why sometimes if you're watching a VHS, you'll notice that red's actually going to bleed over because the detail of the image is like the, the regular, like, what, 500 by 480 or 700 by 480 pixels, or, well, not pixels, horizontal lines. Whereas the color, and I believe red, is the smallest resolution, I, th I think, if, that, if I remember correctly. Because that's why red always, it's like blurry. The red channel is always blurry on old televisions. Unless you break that signal out. That's what S-Video is. S-Video actually has the chromins and, and the luminance separated so they don't, so you don't lose the data when you encode them together. So yeah, it's kind of weird to find a cable that actually says on it that is for chroma signal. So I guess there would also be luma. 
So this might be actually some high quality stuff here. And it's shielded and whatnot. It's still an RCA cable, but I don't know, it's so weird. It's a dollar, I couldn't pass that up. Someone probably spent like like 50 bucks for this cable back, uh, back whenever standard definition was all the rage. Now you can buy that stuff for so cheap, it's so cool. You can effectively have an outdated, amazing entertainment system for, well, nothing if you get it out of the trash, which is kind of cool. Like, I have a Laserdisc player that I got for $25. Originally it would have cost like $1,000. Well, all these old TVs and whatnot. And they still play the media pretty fine. I think that's pretty much it. I'm pretty happy with that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya.